Hi, I'm Shannon Peck, and I want to continue here on our theme of asking love. Because I know as soon as I bring this up, there's going to be some questions like, but how do I know I've heard love and not my own you know, personal desire on an answer to, or for guidance? How do you know you're being guided at, 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 or it's your own self? I, that's really a valid question and a very important one. And I promise you this, the more you practice it, the easier it will become for you to discern the difference between that intuition, that gut feeling, and your own you know, push and force to, this is what I want and I'm really going to do it. And I'll tell you how, um, one really good example, when my ex-husband left and we divorced, um, I was very lonely and, and very sad and went through all the grieving period. And during that period of, uh, lasted many months, I did a lot of prayer, a lot of asking. When I say prayer, I'm basically asking love for guidance. And one of the main things I needed guidance on is, should I even want to get married again? I needed to look forward in my life, and I really wanted, still, uh, to have a life that was happily married and companioned well with someone that shared my values and that we got had compatibility with and great love and meaningfulness. I still wanted that for myself, but I thought, should I even want it? I wanted love to tell me. I didn't want to just assume, oh yeah, I'm supposed to get married again, or to jump into anything. And so I sat on that question for a number of times. Maybe the first time was maybe a week or two, and I listened, and I would tune back in just inquiring within, am I guided to want this? Please show me. Please uh, arrange my motivation, my desires, so that I might see more clearly in, in the divine light what is ahead that will be the greatest blessing for myself and the world. And um, it came to me the first round of questioning, maybe over a period of a couple weeks, in and out, thinking about it, came to me several times, yeah, it's right, go ahead and want that. Um, I sensed it. And so a couple, few more months went by and I asked again. I wanted to verify it again and I don't hesitate. If there's something I'm not sure about that's a really big decision, I will go in many times and ask for guidance because sometimes I get guidance in different ways and all of it will add together in verification. So when that happened and I knew after a period of many months and asking a number of times and every answer was consistently, yes, 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 you can trust your intuition. Your gut will tell you immediately, immediately. And just start being a student of how this intuition happens and how the information comes in. It's often a surprise to me. And I know that after I met my beloved Scotty, who's my husband and co-founder with me of the Love Center, that uh, we were in love and we were engaged to be married. And I was living, we were living in different cities, a hundred miles apart. And I was in LA and he was in San Diego. And so we just assumed, I was so crazy about LA, I was so connected there, that he just thought he would move to LA and we'd live there. My daughter was there. And uh, one, one weekend, as after we got engaged, I was down in San Diego and we'd been praying about many things of when should we get married, uh, what would be the best way and the best time, and should we take some time off and have a little honeymoon and things like that. We were in a lot of prayer and a lot of inquiry to divine guidance that weekend. And in all of this opening and willingness to see what the divine guidance is, we got guidance on something we hadn't even asked for. And what happened is, it occurred to both of us simultaneously, what are we moving to LA for? San Diego is obviously the place we need to live. But he already had a house here, he was established. We just, it was so obvious. And it has been the right decision all these years to live in San Diego. This is important. Where we live, our right place to occupy in the world is very important. And each of us has a right place. So that's something you definitely want guidance on. And your job, you want guidance on that. You want to be in the right place in your job. And with relationships, you want to be the right person. All of these things require guidance. And there's always healing and always blessing with guidance. You know, we were prepared to put his house up for sale. In fact, his house was already up for sale. And we were going to go into L.A. with no house. So there were many things that worked out well with that one weekend of guidance just because we became open. And right now, you can just 
open your heart, your mind, your soul, and be willing to be guided and not to be misguided. And you might even make the affirmation, I am opening myself only to divine love's purest guidance, which I know blesses me. And set that intention forth and establish right then and there, you're only open to that and you are wide open to that. In fact, there's nothing that can separate you and that divine guidance. It is your intention to have it because it is in the intention of the divine to have you have the guidance for your highest good. So all the kingdom of love works together for that and that's healing. I hope these examples have helped you, especially to encourage you that whether you're looking for a cat, you probably aren't, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter whether you're trying to decide where to go or what to put on for the day or what career to choose or should you get married or not or, or who should you marry or what you should do in your life or how should you look at life or what attitude to have or what outlook or what healing thought to have at the moment. There's one source to turn to for all of that that's waiting to bless you with a healing answer and to empower you in a divine way beyond what humanly you could offer to yourself. And that would be to ask love. And love is there waiting for you. And I'm there with you all the way supporting you as you go in and ask those important questions and ask for that guidance. You deserve it. I care so deeply and I love you and I send all love to you as you go forth in your spiritual healing endeavors. Much love.